Samsung is about to shake up the smartphone experience in a way we've never seen before. One UI 7.0 isn't just an update, it's a complete reinvention of how you interact with your device, pushing the boundaries of AI, customization, and performance. If you think you've seen everything Samsung has to offer, think again. The next wave of Galaxy innovation is here, and it's packing surprises that could make iPhone users jealous. But is it truly worth the hype? Today, we're diving deep into everything you need to know about One UI 7.0, the latest leaks, big updates, and hidden features that Samsung hasn't talked about yet. Stick around, because by the end of this video, you might just change the way you see your smartphone forever. Samsung's One UI 7.0 beta is closer than ever, and it's shaping up to be one of the most ambitious software updates in recent years. According to multiple sources, the beta program is set to roll out within days, starting with users in South Korea and the US, followed by key markets like Germany, India, and the UK. But the real question is, should you jump in early or wait for the stable version? While beta updates often bring exciting new features, they can also come with frustrating bugs that impact daily use. However, Samsung seems more prepared than ever. The company has already set up its beta infrastructure within the Samsung Members app, making the enrollment process smoother than before. If you're eager to try One UI 7.0, all you need is a compatible device, the latest Samsung Members app, and a solid data backup, because let's be honest, no one wants to risk losing their photos or important files. Now let's talk about what's new in One UI 7.0, because this update isn't just a fresh coat of paint, it's a major leap forward. One of the most exciting additions is the Now Bar, a lock screen feature that brings live updates and activity tracking directly to your screen. Imagine navigating with Google Maps and seeing turn-by-turn -turn directions without even unlocking your phone. Thanks to a new partnership between Samsung and Google, this feature is now Lev, integrating seamlessly with Android 15. But that's just the beginning. Samsung is also working on deeper AI enhancements, making Bixby smarter and more responsive than ever. Rumors suggest that the voice assistant will gain real-time translation and advanced voice recognition, allowing for natural, human-like interactions. Could this finally make Bixby a real competitor to Google Assistant and Siri? Time will tell. Let's move on to one of the biggest battles in the tech world, Samsung versus Apple. With the iPhone 16 Pro Max stepping up its game and the Galaxy S25 Ultra expected to bring major hardware improvements, 2025 is shaping up to be a heated year for smartphone dominance. Apple is introducing a 6.9-inch OLED display with better brightness and color accuracy, but Samsung is fighting back with its anti-reflective AMO LED panel making outdoor visibility effortless. Then there's performance. Apple's 18 Pro chip is built for efficiency, keeping temperatures low during heavy tasks. But Samsung is countering with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, a powerhouse designed for gaming and AI-driven enhancements. And then there's the camera war. Apple has refined its 48 MP sensor, adding an impressive 5X optical zoom for telephoto shots. But Samsung, it's going all in with a 200 MP ISOCLL sensor, offering stunning low-light photography and unmatched detail. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is expected to dominate in night photography, while Apple still holds the crown for video quality with its ultra-smooth 4K at 120th recording. So which one takes the lead? It depends on what you prioritize. Photography enthusiasts might love the Galaxy, while content creators may lean towards Apple's video capabilities. Battery life and charging are another key battleground. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is rumored to retain its 5,000 mAh battery, paired with 45 GW fast charging, which can juice up your phone in under an hour. Meanwhile, Apple, while still slightly behind in raw battery size, continues to excel in battery optimization, making iPhones last longer on a single charge. But here's where Samsung could steal the show. Leaks suggest a new battery cooling system in the S25 Ultra, meaning fewer overheating issues and more efficient power consumption. Now, let's shift back to One UI 7.0, because software is where Samsung is truly flexing its muscles. The update brings a refined design language with smoother animations, a customizable always-on display, and AI-driven wallpapers that adapt to your surroundings. And if you love customization, Samsung's Good Lock module just got even better. The Wonderland module now allows real-time previews, auto-font adjustments, and exclusive lock screen animations that make every Galaxy device feel unique. But what of the beta experience? Early testers have reported a few quirks, including buggy animations and inconsistent lock screen behavior. While these issues are expected in beta versions, Samsung's rapid update cycle ensures that most bugs get ironed out before the official release. The real question is, is One UI 7.0 borrowing too much from iOS? 
With every update, Samsung seems to take inspiration from Apple's UI refinements, but at the same time, it offers deeper customization that iPhones simply don't. Samsung users get the best of both worlds, iOS-inspired polish with Android's flexibility. Looking ahead, Samsung is also rumored to be working on PC-level integration for One UI 7.0, potentially replacing the DX system with a new, streamlined desktop experience. Imagine turning your phone into a full-fledged PC with seamless app continuity. This could be a game-changer for productivity. So, is One UI 7.0 truly worth the hype? If you're a Samsung user, this update is shaping up to be one of the biggest leaps in recent years. With AI enhancements, next-level customization, and powerful integration with Google services, Samsung is proving once again why it remains at the top of the Android game. But the real question is, are you ready for it? Will you be trying to beta, or are you waiting for the final release? Drop your thoughts in the comments and let's discuss. If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more exclusive Samsung updates. The future of smartphones is unfolding, and trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming next.